Four to six feet of snow. Now, that, that's in one snowfall. Do you, I mean, it's almost an unfathomable amount of snow. That is, unless you live in the western New York area like I do, and then it's completely normal. Because that's what the meteorologists are telling us we're going to be getting this weekend. It is uh, Wednesday right now. It has just started snowing about two hours ago, and we got about six inches so far. Let's, let's take a look. All right, so Wednesday, about two hours in. Now we're probably about four inches. Four inches of snow. Um, so yeah, they're saying over the next uh, 48 to 72 hours, we're gonna get a total of six feet of snow. And I'm gonna have to push it all with this tractor. Now, the way this tractor is set up, it's not gonna push very well. That's because I don't have my rear weight on there. And it's out in the back by the pond behind the shop. So I gotta go put that thing on. Uh, I'm gonna do a little cleaning up here so I can actually back the tractor in with the weight on and it doesn't run into the lawnmower. I mean, there's enough snow that I could remove snow right now, but I'm not going to because it's already dark outside. And the other thing I need to do is I've got probably half a face quart of wood left in my mud room. Uh, I want to bring a tote over to the door just in case I can't get to the totes over here on the side of the shop. So first things first, I'm going to go grab the weight because that'll help me with the uh, totes. Then we'll take the pusher off. I'm debating on whether or not I should get my bucket to my buckets out back. Hmm. Nah. We'll just use the pusher. All right, weight, forks, wood. Then we'll push some snow. Well, not tonight, but in the next day or two. All right, weights on the tractor. Boom. Solved a lot more problem by just pulling it back two feet. Uh, stack some wood next to the house. Just one basket. That's a face cord. That should get us through a week. That should be plenty of time. And loaded up the gas cans. I don't have much that runs on gas here, but uh, my generator does. The generator's full, but I don't have any spare fuel. So I'm gonna go load those up. I think my ATV's full. Might do some wheeling in that. You guys probably haven't seen that video yet, but hey, got a new ATV. If that video's out, go check it out. If it's not out, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Fuel or gasoline. Gotta go get gasoline. All right, back from the fuel station, got uh, fuel for the generator, put fuel in the truck and uh, fuel for me because you never can tell how long these snowstorms are gonna be. So I got, uh, I don't know, fuel in the truck will last me three, four days. If I have to run the generator, 10 gallons of fuel lasts like uh, three, four days and 30 pack of bush lasts like one day. So yeah, hopefully it's not that long. So night one of the storm is over. Uh, it really didn't snow that much more overnight. I mean, we really only got like the, it was probably a total of six inches when it was coming down. And then, you know, Mr. Gravity takes care of it. It's probably about four inches now, but it is really wet and heavy. And uh, they're saying that the real snow is supposed to come tonight. Well, this afternoon, it's supposed to start around uh, 3.30 or so end of tonight, end of tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, then Saturday and Sunday. Um, they're, still, they're still saying four to six feet over this uh, next four days or so, three, four days. But there is nothing better looking than some snow on some trees. I'll tell you that much for free. Well, I'm gonna get the driveway plowed because I don't wanna get too far behind not going to be that interesting. It's not that much snow. I'm just going to time lapse it. We're picking up a ton of my driveway millings and I'm not a super big fan of that because A, it's taking away from my driveway material and B, it's going to be a mess to clean up come spring. I mean, I can already see it's going to be a mess. Uh, we're going to see about fixing that, and I'm going to show you guys what I do to fix that for the first couple snowfalls.
So this Homestead Implement Snow Pusher has got some uh, skis on it, some legs, whatever you want to call it, feet, and they're adjustable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them all the way down. That'll lift the cutting edge up as high as it can go. It'll leave like an inch of snow on the ground, which is fine because I'd rather leave snow on the ground than pick up my millings. Once the driveway freezes, it doesn't become a problem because then the rubber will just ride on the hard packed snow. But for now, we'll drop it all the way down. Just like that. Drop it all the way down and snug them back up and we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So you see all this gap we have here now between the bottom of this and the bottom of this? That's how much material we would leave it on the ground. Shouldn't pick up any more mailings. So hopefully you can tell the difference between like this part of the driveway and this part of the driveway. See how you can see my millings there? That's because we dug some up. Again, the snow is supposed to be starting today, this afternoon, and go for the next uh, three days into Sunday. And they're saying totals of six feet. I don't know if I believe them, but we have to prepare for it because if it does happen, I, I don't want to be caught unprepared. I guess this afternoon we'll find out if it starts snowing. See you guys then. So it's uh, day three of the storm. I guess if you would count day one as the day that I started recording, this is day three. It is currently four o'clock in the morning. I have to work today. Um, fortunately, I don't have a job that I get snow days from, so I do have to go to work at, at 6, and I have to work until 7 p.m. That being said, we have been getting snow overnight. Um, if I were to guess, we have about 6, 8 inches of snow, and it's supposed to continue all the way until Sunday. Today is Friday, so we have uh, a full day today, full day Saturday, and a full day Sunday of snow. My concern is that I'm going to go to work, come home, and it'll be too much to plow. Well, this six, eight inches isn't going to be too much to plow. It is pretty wet, heavy snow, but um, my concern is I won't be able to get it done when I come back home from work tonight. It's snowing, but it's not terrible. I'm gonna get the tractor warmed up and uh, I'm just gonna throw a GoPro on the tractor. I don't wanna put the iPhone out there in the snow. I mean, I really don't wanna get it soaking wet. Oh man. So I'll throw a GoPro up on the tractor and hopefully you guys can see something. I don't know. I'm almost too tired to care. <laughs> All right.
So we're getting a rate of about uh, two inches an hour and it is now 445. So that took me about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. But yeah, I gotta go to work and I'll be working for the next, uh, well, I mean, I'm coming home. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting stuck at work. There's no doubt about that. I'm, I'm coming home. The roads aren't plowed. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but uh, yeah, I get a four wheel drive, so I'm coming home. Um, the next time I'll be plowing this will be about at seven o'clock at night tonight. If it does rain, or rain, if it does snow that two inches per hour for the next 14 hours, that'll be about 28 inches of snow. I think this snow pusher is about probably about 28, 30 inches tall. So we should be right at the top of the snow pusher. I don't know where I'm gonna put it all, but we'll do our best. So if it keeps snowing, I'll keep filming. So it is uh, 1.40 in the afternoon and uh, I had to leave work early to come take care of the driveway. So here I am. We've gotten at least two feet since uh, what was it, 5 a.m. this morning? So we gotta plow this out now. Um, we're getting a lot of snow, it's still coming. So I'm probably gonna have to do the driveway again tonight around, you know, seven, eight o'clock before bed. And it'll probably be another, you know, 18 to 24 inches like this. Oh, Bo's getting yelled at. All right, let's plow some snow.
Not too bad. 26 minutes. Well, it's still snowing pretty good. Uh, well, it slowed down a little bit, but I mean, it's still snowing. Uh, it's supposed to continue snowing. Today is Friday. It's supposed to continue snowing through tomorrow into Sunday. If I were to guess, I'd say we're at a minimum of three feet, uh, at least where I am, and it's still coming. They're saying up to six feet, so we're gonna see. Uh, I will have to plow this again tonight before bed. There's no doubt about that, so we'll be back when it's uh, a little nighttime plowing. So it is uh, eight o'clock on uh, day three. Today was the day that I came home early from work, plowed the driveway, and you can see we've got another, I don't know, 12 to 16 inches of snow. I'm running out of places to put it, but we're gonna do our best. We gotta hop on the tractor, I got it warming up over here, and we're gonna plow again. Nothing more I can do. It's still snowing out here too. So, and uh, also, I don't know if you saw this big crater in the ground here before I stepped away. My solar light that I had in between, yeah, it's not doing too hot. The weight broke it. So, if you're looking for one of these solar lights, they're not buffalo rated. I'll show you that during the daytime though. Let's get to plowing.
Well, uh, I don't know what date is, day four maybe of the storm, and I think, I think we're finally done. They're only calling for like two more inches. So hopefully, hopefully we're done. Uh, last night I snow plowed with the snow pusher. You, saw, you guys saw that. Uh, and since then we only have probably three inches. So only three inches fell overnight, which is great. Um, but I do have to do some cleaning up. Since the snow is done, I'm gonna try to do a good job making sure everything's nice and clean. And we'll get it. Holy cow, is that a plow? That's the first plow that's come up this road in like a day and a half. Anywho, uh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be probably the last plow for this uh, this winter storm that we got. A uh, total of 66 inches. That's right, 66 inches of snow in three days. Wow, that's that's more than five feet. We didn't hit six. They say said they said we were gonna get six, but we didn't hit six, which is fine. I'm I'm okay with not getting six feet of snow. And you know, you look around and you say, Elliot, there's not six feet of snow out there. Well, what you have to remember is as snow falls, you know, it falls and then it compacts and then more falls on top of it and compacts when it's on the ground. So although it may not look like six feet on the ground, it's because it's all getting compacted. So yeah, we did get five and a half feet of snow, which is insane to think about. Over the course, you know, over the course of three days. All right, let's plow. So that's it. Three or four days of snow, 66 inches of snow. I mean, it's a lot. I think we uh, have successfully moved it all. I mean, I got piles of snow just everywhere. When you get this much snow, you just, you do whatever you can with it. I mean, there's no rules. Pile it on your lawn, pile it down the side of your driveway. Anywhere you can put it, you put it. The plowing's done. Unfortunately, there's a lot more snow work to do here. Uh, I gotta rake my roof and I think this year I'm going to avoid putting the snowblower on the roof. If you guys didn't know I did that, I'll put a link up top for you. Yeah, I put my snowblower on the roof. I think it was last year, maybe the year before, I don't remember, but it was uh, it was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I gotta rake the roof and uh, if the snow stays and doesn't melt, I'm gonna have to move some of these piles because there's the big pile over there is way too close to the house. I don't wanna get my foundation wet, so. Um, Unfortunately, if you remember from the beginning of the video, I didn't dig my bucket out. I regret that a little bit. I should have brought my bucket out, so I had it. That's it, snow's done. I'm sure it's gonna snow again because this is Western New York and that's what we do here is we have snow. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. It would, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, I got plenty more videos moving snow, using the tractor, doing all sorts of activities. So until the next video, hope you guys have a great day.